play this one. Let me just make this point here. Um, I don't think Jim Comey thought that letter was going to help. I think he thought when he released that letter that Hillary Clinton was going to be the president. And here is more evidence of the state of mind. He's not speaking about himself, but of the state of mind that Jim Comey had when he released that letter. Here it is. Do you think that the Russians expected Secretary Clinton to win the election? Yes, as of August, certainly. August, September. Okay, Mr. Rogers? Yes. Okay, uh, Mr. Comey, you indicated as of August, September. Do you believe they ever came to a conclusion that, you know what, Mr. Trump's going to win? No, our, the assessment of the intelligence community was that early on, they thought he might have a shot. And so they wanted to mess with our election, hurt our country in general. That's always the baseline. They hated her, Secretary Clinton, wanted to harm her and thought it might have a chance to help uh, Mr. Trump, and then later concluded that Mr. Trump uh, it was hopeless and they would focus then on just trying to undermine Secretary Clinton, especially with the European allies. I got that. So up, up until s summer and through the fall, they believed that Secretary Clinton would win. Is that true? I think the assessment was late in the summer, they concluded, based on the polling I think a lot of people were reading, that Mr. Trump didn't have a chance and they shifted to just focusing on just trying to undermine her. And, and I tell you, if you were to tell me, and I know you didn't, but I'm just saying, if, if anyone were to tell me that they concluded Mr. Trump was going to win, I'd just say they're nuts. Because there was no one in the world who thought that. Every media organization, every political organization, every government organization that I'm familiar with last fall thought that Secretary Clinton would be the next president of the United States. I think the Russians agreed. Yeah, I absolutely, they did agree. Now, this guy, uh, Chris Stewart, is uh, trying to make the argument that the Russians weren't trying to uh, help Donald Trump. And it's, I don't know, it's a pretty thin slice here that they were just trying to undermine the U.S. government. <laughs> now, it doesn't mean that Donald Trump thought he was going to lose. But the point is, it's clear to me that Jim Comey there, for him to believe in October that he could swing the election by releasing that letter uh, just seems absurd. So why did he do it? Well, we know he told uh, the public yesterday, God knows where they told, private session, that they had an ongoing investigation as early as July of the Trump organization, if you will. And we know that in October, when he released that letter, there was an ongoing investigation of the Trump organization because that investigation continues now. And my theory was that maybe he did that because he knew he had a real investigation with Trump. He knew that the Clinton investigation was done. But Donald Trump, remember, threatened Hillary Clinton with prosecution. So if Hillary Clinton becomes president and her head of the FBI, James Comey, prosecutes Donald Trump, what's the narrative? The narrative is she just did this because Donald Trump had threatened her with it. So if I'm Jim Comey and I'm not terribly savvy <laughs> or I think this is a slam dunk and I'm going to prove that I am that buttoned up uh, FBI head, I'm going to be very explicit with this letter because I know this is going to inoculate Hillary Clinton and I, James Comey, from any talk of political retribution when I could very well bring charges against Donald Trump or his close associates. I don't know when this, uh, this investigation will end. Maybe it'll be in May. Maybe it'll be in June of next year, but it'll be President Clinton. I mean, I... That theory starting to make more and more sense to me. Because what else could it be? I mean, this guy's actually thinking that Clinton's going to be the president and he did this to, you know? I mean, that's not going to help you. You still got to work there, right? I mean, it would be a really uncomfortable work environment, it seems to me. But we don't know. But that exchange, I think, at least gives us a look into the state of mind that Comey had. Because Comey's saying, like, look, the Russians believe what everybody believed. 
Now, maybe he was thinking like, I know better than the Russians and everybody else how to measure what's going on with the Poles. But I think that's highly unlikely. unlikely. So that's, that's one theory. Now, to press on with, with this investigation, Trey Gowdy, who continues to be um, an that impressive is, hack. He is an extraordinary hack. All right, here he is. This is a, a amazing work by Trey Gowdy here because what he's doing is he's both foreclosing the biggest reason why there were leaks. Remember, now in this hearing, the Republicans are completely focused on leaks. That's all well and good, but I would call it whistleblowing. And I'll tell you why I would say that afterwards. But here's Gowdy. He's trying to do two things, basically. One, foreclose any legit reason why there were leaks and ones that would reflect badly on the administration. And two, he's trying to basically create another fictional narrative about the whole Obama deep state. And uh, here it is. Well, Director Comey, there's been some speculation uh, this morning on motive. Um, I'm not all that interested in motive. First of all, it's really hard to prove. Secondarily, you never have to prove it. Pause it. Motive is really hard to prove. However, insinuation and inference and rumor that's easy. All I got to do is just keep talking for the next uh, minute 30, and I'll be able to achieve that. Remember, after this clip, he goes on and names like a half a dozen um, Obama officials, former Obama officials. But let's just hear what he has to say here. But I get that people want to know. I, I get the jury all wants, always wants to know why. I think you and I can agree there are a couple of reasons that you would not have to unlawfully, feloniously disseminate classified material. It certainly wasn't done to help an ongoing criminal investigation because you already had the information, didn't you? Again, I can't answer in the context of this particular matter. How about in theory? Is, is, is there something a reporter would have access to that the head of the FBI would not? It's hard for me to answer. I would hope not when it relates to the I FBI's would hope work. not, too, since it's part of our surveillance programs. I would hope that you had access to everything as the head of the world's premier law enforcement agency. I would hope that you had it all. So if you had it all, the motive couldn't have been to help you because you already had it. And Admiral Rogers, the motive couldn't have been to help you because you already had it. So in the universe of possible motives for the felonious dissemination of classified material, we could rule out wanting to help the intelligence communities and the law enforcement communities. Those are two motives that are gone now. That leaves some more nefarious motives. Is the investigation into the leak of classified information, has it begun yet? I can't say because I don't want to confirm that that was classified information. Okay, two important things here. One is he defines the universe of possible motivations as to why someone leaked. And what he does know is that it wasn't done to help the ongoing investigation by the FBI or by the NSA. He knows that. But in fact, I think he knows something very different. I think he knows that those leaks were specifically so that Comey could come in front of that committee, both in public and private. Because why is he there? He has been authorized by the Justice Department. And what does he mean when he says he's been authorized by the Justice Department? Does that mean that Jeff Sessions signed off on this? No, because Jeff Sessions, following those leaks, recused himself, had to recuse himself. He is there because a former Obama Department of Justice official okayed his going and revealing that there was an ongoing investigation. It's going to be interesting to see if we get any more leaks. They certainly seem to have stopped for the past couple of weeks, and it's the first time we've seen that. And it's because Comey is able to continue his investigation. It's quite clear those leaks were a function of a 
perceived or real threat to quashing that investigation at the, in the White House. And Trey Gowdy is taking advantage of the fact that he knows Comey is not going to say that in public. He doesn't have to now because Jeff Sessions has recused himself. Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. And one way he can is by you subscribing to this channel. I don't know how that works.